Well, hi, everybody, and good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. We are going to be looking at some cold weather over the next 24 hours, at least for this time of the year. We've already noticed this week it's been rather chilly all week long. Well, tomorrow morning is the coldest morning ahead of us here as widespread frost is expected. Frost advisories are in effect for all the light blue shaded areas. And then freeze warnings are in effect for all the dark blue shaded areas. And these are all until or starting at 1 o'clock tomorrow morning, continuing until 10 o'clock tomorrow mid-morning out there. Now, what does this mean? Well, frost advisories usually means you're not dropping below freezing more than likely, but you are cold enough that frost can still develop. We can still get frost at 34, 35 degrees. To the west, that's where it's a little more likely that we drop down to around 32 degrees or colder. But all areas have a chance of frost, so you're going to want to think uh, about bringing in uh, any plants or potted plants, things like that, that you want to keep saved. Anything in the garden that's already started to sprout, you're going to want to cover those up overnight tonight. So uh, that's something to think about before you uh, head to bed tonight, is to have everything covered up, taken care of, if you have any interest in that. Otherwise, um, farther east, eastern Nebraska, around Lincoln and Omaha, uh, should be warm enough. I don't think that'll be as much of a concern. So as a look at our future cast, now the clouds are still stuck around the area today, and in fact, there's still a small chance of rain this afternoon coming from the southwest. Very spotty hit or miss showers possible, otherwise a brisk north wind throughout the day. And the clouds, they're going to hold tough for much of the day. But those clouds, they will be clearing up tonight. Notice the wind arrows, they slow down. So the wind speed will be dying down. A perfect recipe to drop those temperatures off below average, well below average for this time of the year. Now after we get past that, it is going to improve out there. Some sunshine in the morning will be replaced by some clouds in the afternoon. Now that chance of rain is looking pretty slim off to the southwest. It's not a great chance. I'll mention that right now. We do warm up a little bit for your afternoon hours, but even better temperatures are coming down the road. So as a look at your forecast highs for today, only in the low 50s for most of us, maybe a few mid 50s this afternoon. So it is going to be rather cool. Our average high is around 70 degrees tonight. Then again, dropping back into the low and mid 30s and maybe a few upper 20s out there. Eastern Nebraska upper 30s not quite as chilly but this is not going to be an overly pleasant start to our Friday morning maybe have to get the winter jackets out possibly I had mine yesterday it's hard to believe I don't I can't remember the last time I wore a winter jacket in May but yeah that has been the case here but tomorrow afternoon after that cold start we do warm up into the lower 60s in most locations wouldn't be surprised to maybe see a couple of upper 50s out there heading into tomorrow saturday then warmer weather ahead of us here this is ahead of a cold front that'll come through low to mid or mid to upper 60s for high so that's an improvement still slightly below average like i said a cold front does come through later in the day that could spark off some isolated light rain showers for your saturday afternoon early evening but uh what that front will do it'll shift our winds maybe keep us a degree or two cooler on sunday but eventually the warmer air is going to win out next week so again we're gradually warming up the next couple of days a slight chance of rain this afternoon a slight chance of rain saturday afternoon windy conditions today it's a little breezy saturday not as windy as today after that it's looking pretty good 67 sunday for mother's day and then how about 70s and even lower 80s for the early and middle portions of next week with plenty of sunshine so, so looking good there if you want to know what the 10-day uh, forecast looks like and of course you get down the road a little less confidence in the forecast but it still does likely it should keep temperatures just a little bit above average as we push towards the uh, uh, latter portions of the month the second we begin the second half of the month there around the 16th 17th 18th of May and it looks like we may start to get a little stormy again sometime around next Thursday or Friday or into that following weekend but much of the forecast does look rather dry which is good we need a chance to dry out you almost want some wind just to help dry things out just a little bit so with that I want to thank you all for watching on this Thursday I will see you all again on Friday morning take care enjoy your day stay warm out there God bless bye